Hello friends, well, uh, in this lecture, we'll study about a new structure, right? And that is basically called an arch. Now, what is an arch? To understand the whole concept of arch, one must look at the concept of beam. So, I will try to rewind the concept of beam once again. So, the beam was some kind of a flexural member, which was some kind of a horizontal, it, it had an horizontal alignment, and there were two supports say a simply supported which will have a hinge and a roller support and now if i apply some transverse load that is vertical loads to the beam essentially at every cross section there will be a resultant force that is that will act about this direction and this is essentially called the shear force so at every section there will be essentially a resultant force say v and a resultant moment say rm and we know that if the whole structure is in equilibrium so the portion of the structure will also be in equilibrium so therefore this v and rm will have to be resisted by say a bending moment bm acting to the opposite direction to this resultant moment and a shear force say vx right so this was the whole concept of truss now it may happen that this bending moment is essentially sagging right a sagging bending moment essentially means that if an element is like this, it will have, if this is my bending moment and if this is my resultant moment say, and this is my bending moment, if an element is applied to these two moments, so the element will essentially bend like this and the upper fibers will be in compression and the lower fibers will be in tension. So this is what is the elementary concept of beam. Now, what is an arch? Now, the basic thing for design for design of any member, one must look at how it will resist the loads. So here the beam resists the loads just by bending. So essentially, one while designing has to take this consideration that is the bending moment. So if we can, if we can develop a structure by which we will design the structure in such a manner that this bending moment will essentially be reduced, then it would be great and the truss and so I, I, I'm sorry, and the arch solves our purpose. So arch is some kind of a structure wherein there is a horizontal thrust that develops and due to the structure of the arch as such, this bending moment or the sagging bending moment will be neutralized by the hogging bending moment that will arise in case of truss and the bending moment will be reduced and we can get, we can have, uh, say we can have cross sections of smaller area and essentially that will be economical right so the truss is some kind of a thing like this wherein i have some type of a curved alignment right and here i have two supports say a hinge and a hinge here so if i apply all kinds of vertical loads to this arch right so what will happen what will happen how will the bending moment diagram be if this arch is in equilibrium so there will be support reactions say h say this is h and this is say v1 this is v2 right so these are my two vertical reactions and these are to my horizon these are my horizontal thrusts now the bending moment if you consider it will be the same but there will be an additional moment due to this h and let's say, say this is my section let us say that AA is my section right so at this section what will be my bending moment essentially the bending moment will be if this is P1 and this is say P2 so at this section what will be my bending moment now due to P1 P2 V1 we know that it will have some kind of a sagging moment that is the element at this point let's say an element at this point due to this P1 and P2 right will have some kind of a sagging moment but due to this horizontal thrust it will it will have a moment in the anti-clockwise direction so it will have so, uh, the resultant moment will be in the anti-clockwise direction and hence the bending moment in, will be in the clockwise direction so this as we know is hogging right and this is sagging now the sagging moment is because of this vertical loads say p1 p2 and all kinds of vertical loads here right and it necessarily creates the sagging moment 
And to balance this sagging moment, what we have is the moment that this horizontal thrust creates at this cross section, and this is essentially the hogging moment.